Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly Jurassic World. What is what is this? Hold on. There's hay on top of my non-sponsored fizzy drink. Okay, awesome start. <laughs> welcome to our weekly Jurassic World Evolution 2 livestream. Let me actually check the microphone because that was a bit of an issue last last time, wasn't it? Let me see over here. Is the microphone working? Hold on. Yes, it is. I am a professional YouTuber, as you can tell. It's very impressive, I know. It's intimidating, really, my professionalism. Uh, <laughs> thank you all so much for joining me uh, for this park build. If you recall, we started this park build last week. Last week was the first episode. And it's going to be a different park build from usual for our live streams. You know, we're taking it slow. This is like the slow cooker version of park building. Okay, Let's just have that, have that mentality going into it. Or just hang out. And uh, talking nonsense in the chat, which I appreciate you guys joining me for while I uh, do my um, my slow cooking over here. I want to thank the moderators, as always. Uh, I see Sammy L, I saw Fletcher, Guillermo's here, Glitzbox, sarcastically. So yeah, please, folks, just don't give the moderators a hard time. Listen to what they command you. Also, I have a not insignificant headache, so I would appreciate... Just relax, just chill. <laughs> Let's just chill, chill and build. That's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, I see a lot of green names in the chat as well. I see Wraith Giron, Hull Sauce is here, Terraria, Harry Glaster, uh, Samad Survivor, Dunkleos to a dude. Uh, Love Game Selfie, how's it going? Completely forgot it was a Saturday. That's a better reminder than suddenly realizing it's a Monday, so. That's something, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Sacha, how's it going? Uh, Pillow Sleeper, hello. Uh, Kip H, how's it going? Downer Explosion, just a couple of the green names in the chat. I appreciate it. Uh, we have more people here. Ryan Garner is here. We have uh, Samuel Cotia, Raven, Dondar the Gamer, Ryan Garner. I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Jurassic Joe, hello. We have Vern de Jonge. That might be Dutch. Uh, Falcons Farm and Dinosaur Facts. I love Saturday. I do as well. I like streaming. I like hanging out with you guys. Uh, D-Rex in 1985. We have Christi Christina Johnson. Excuse me. Uh, the Gaming Dino. Uh, sorry, hold on. Chat jumped. But did I just see the name that I thought I saw? I did. Juice Duck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you win. <laughs> Nick uh, Salomon. Um, let's see. Rares Dragudu. God, I'm so sorry. I'm mispronouncing everyone's name. It's kind of my thing. Uh, George King 1221. Hello. Uh, Mustafa, how's it going? Christina. We have Flix's Aviation here. It was a good reminder. This is Love Game Selfie. <laughs> uh, Lefteris K8. How are you? We have many people joining us. Thank you so, so much. All right, I'm literally rolling up my sleeves and we're getting to work here. All right, um, I, I need to whip out my reference. Let me just show you the reference. Am I screen sharing? I am screen sharing. That's awesome. Again, so professional. So, wow. Uh, so I think what I want to do is follow my own advice <laughs> from my uh, park layout video and actually get in some of the larger structures as our reference point. Because last time... We sort of got we got a little lost in the details. We got a little lost in the sauce over here. Um, I don't necessarily think that's the right way to approach this. So what I think I'm going to start with today is just plop down all of these lagoons that I've planned out. We have a super chat already from the Chick House. Thank you so much. I'm going to give that a heart. I'm going to find you a hug. Hold on. Oh, God. I'm not set up properly. Ah. Uh, there, there. They give the best hug hugs. That's why I contract them out to them. I completely entrust them with that. Uh, the Chick House says, Can't be a member, but I can still give you a donation. That is so, so kind. Thank you so, so much. Get your rabbit a treat with this. That is so sweet. Let me check where he is. Oh, he's sitting... Well, not quite next to me. He's a little bit hidden. He's a little shy today, I guess. A little shy boy. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, and we have a red super chat from I Leviathan. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy, thank you so much, I Leviathan. Uh, I'm so tired. I'm barely coherent. I have a three-day weekend coming up in about a month, but until then, I'm going to feel dead. Anyway, how's your day going, Evo? J my advice to you, just, just mentally hold on to that three-day weekend that's coming your way. Just hold on. Hold on. 
<laughs> live live towards that. Uh, my day has been very busy. Um, I really had to rush to get today's video out. Because I really did want to get that out today. Um, and then I took a nap because I had I had slash half a significant headache. <laughs> We're gonna power through. <laughs> uh, let me play the most clip for you. Thank you so much, Iron Leviathan. As as always, it's amazing. You're amazing. I gotta do so I gotta do something here with my life. Right? Right? <laughs> Did- Wow, we also reached 100 likes. Thank you guys so, so much. You're amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're too kind, Fox Gamer. I'm very, very grateful that you find the channel both helpful and entertaining. That's honestly all I could ask for. Um, what was I gonna- Right, 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 right. Let's just get in some of these legumes. That sounds like legumes, <laughs> which is very different. Um, let's let's delete some path biddly bits. Uh, Again, my sketch is gonna come in very helpful with all of this, but let's just get a get a head start on chucking in some of these things. Du -du -du. How's everyone's uh, Saturday going so far? You know, aside from my. Race to get my video done. <laughs> what have you guys been up to? <laughs> Indominus dog, thank you. That's way too kind. It's not. It's also not true, but very, very kind. Thank you. The best builder. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. You know what? I'll just take it. It's not true, but I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm not deleting my entire grid because uh, it's gonna be helpful as um. Just a, little, just a little cheat code, I guess. Just a little cheat code. Um, thank you, Gary. You all are too kind. Kip H has been playing Path of Titans. Uh, Derek Silva is having writer's block. Uh, relatable. <laughs> I haven't been working on my Jurassic Park or Jurassic World sequel, depends on how you want to look at it, for weeks now. I'm a little blocked. I'm a little blocked. Uh, Mustafa has a test tomorrow. I hope your test is gonna go great. Just believe in yourself and remember that sleep, you know, good sleep is more important than a couple extra hours of studying. So don't don't stay up too late trying to uh, to cram some more stuff in. Just try to try to get some rest. Your brain will function better. Uh, love game selfie. The stream is definitely making you feel better and distracting you. I am happy to provide a service. Um, was that it? Apparently so. I think I think there should be another one over here. Hold on, let me grab my um, reference. Yeah, I planned for another one here somewhere. I just didn't sketch it in yet. But about about there. How many lagoons does that make? Hold on, let me count here. One. Hold on. I'll involve you in the process, <laughs> so you can check my homework. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so that's the right amount, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> hey, Malatalia, I have a couple of days off from work now, so chilling, playing the owl, cleaning house, happy the stream is there. How are you and the rabbits? Me and the rabbits are doing pretty good, I think. Bo is doing. Pretty well. Got a little dicey last week. I came close to calling the vet, but he sort of he sort of bounced back a little bit. So you know, always gotta be keeping an eye out on this little fluffy mister right here. Hmm? 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 Scaring the bejesus out of me. Oh, I have a rabbit hair in my mouth actually. <laughs> I am so professional. I don't. I honestly, I don't know how I do it. I'm literally. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is such a journey, these uh, live streams. I uh, I appreciate everyone who <laughs> who tags along on these journeys. Honestly, now you might note that some of these circles are actually bigger than the aviaries, but that's because you know there's also going to be a circular path around it. So I'm just sort of getting them in the center. Okay, this one's very important to get centered like this. Oh, there's one more thing I need to do. Bef 
before all of this. And that is the terrain elevation. Let me check, because I think I already messed it up. I did indeed. I was going to put this on a little bit of an elevation. Mmm, love the taste of rabbit hair. <laughs> Jack, can we get a bunny cam? I would love to provide you with bunny cam, but he is not sitting in uh, in his bed, so he's not within view of the camera. Demon Cactus, you're going to try to join every stream? That is very impressive. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, speaking of every stream, uh, remember that there's going to be a full day stream coming on May 4th. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Which, I don't know, might be masochistic. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Alright, what? where else did I have? God dang it, I had it here as well? God dang it. I've been doing all of this for naught. I had this at an elevation. Uh, I can't go too high with these elevation differences. Because um, th there's just not the space in... Uh, my sketch, my sketch doodle, because this park is obviously really focused on just having, um, you know, enough habitats for all species. Normally, I would have more extreme terrain elevation. But I can't be wasting too much space. Wow, it is slow. I think it's the uh, grid that's making it slow. I see color from the corner of my eye. Of course, it's Iron Leviathan. <laughs> Thank you so so much. Um, hold on, hard first. Uh, even better, the three-day weekend starts the day the remake of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door comes out. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is my favorite Mario game ever of all time, so I'm locking my doors and will be dead to the world for those three days. You will have earned it very, very, very much. I have never heard of that um, version of it. Hold on, we're gonna play the Moe's again. Yeah. Wow, it's really slow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I don't have to do the whole thing. I just need to have uh, the train elevation ready for the legume. <laughs> just gonna call it that now. And um, yeah, let's actually just do that. Just raise the bits for the legume. This is this is too tall. Won't be able to make that happen. About like this? Yeah, I guess. And it extends all the way to that. Are you sure? Apparently. Okay. Yeah, the performance of the game uh, definitely suffers with the grid. It also takes uh, quite a significant amount of time to just load into this map. It's kind of silly, really, how the game struggles with just the grid. Hey, oh my god, hold on, I'm gonna struggle with your name. Tizel? Tazile? Tizil? Uh, one for seven, thank you so, so much. That is so kind. The rabbit will enjoy his snacks. I think if I combine this one with the other uh, super chat we got earlier, I can actually buy his favorite thing ever. So I'm definitely gonna do that. Thank you so, so much. Also, hugs are in order. I Leviathan as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Well, it's a Nintendo game, and unless I'm mistaken, you don't play Nintendo. That is very true. I don't... I indeed do not play Nintendo games. Of course, I have heard of, like, Super Mario and stuff like that. I just... I've also never even heard of it. Uh, okay. Two hugs. And another. Okay. Uh, is all of this at an elevation? Really, Evo? Oh, hold on. Not those two. Yes to these two. Okay, so this is this is sort of where the elevation starts. Uh, come on then, come on then, come on then. Slowly. I cook so slowly. Sorry. It cannot be helped. Uh, okay. Hey, the Chicos! Thank you so much. Less donor for me, but thoughts on Killiam, the male Jurassic Park 3 raptor. Um, the Jurassic Park 3 raptors are my favorite raptor designs of the entire franchise. I think they're awesome, so uh, I guess those are my thoughts. Although, I have to say, I kind of I prefer the female 
I don't know, I'm just a sucker for albino looking things, I guess. And, and, and sort of like white tiger, snow leopard looking things. So <laughs> yeah, I, I think I prefer the females a little bit more. All right, this also needs to be elevated. Okay. That's a good opinion, says Derek Silva. <laughs> Uh, Illegal, I could flatten it faster with water. You are correct. I find it quite therapeutic, actually. Not gonna lie. Shelly Dorans, do I like the feathered T Rex? I do! It's probably one of my most used T Rex skins. Where am I making the lagoons? Um, wherever I have drawn them in. All right, so I'm not gonna worry too much about the. Re <laughs> this looks bonkers as heck. <laughs> but anyway, I have everything elevated for my lagoons now, so you know, just just as like a starting point. Oh, hold on, I've got to do a hug for uh, the chick house. Yeah. All right, lagoons. I just like saying it like that now. Look, it's it's a thing. Oh god dang it, this needs to be elevated as well. Hold on. No, wait, maybe not. No, yeah, 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 okay. There's a legume over here as well. Melon War, what's my, what's my favorite Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World film? I've actually done a video on my full ranking, uh, but my favorite is Jurassic Park. There's, like, it's not even close. It's not a photo finish. The, uh, the original is the best. Hold on. Yeah, okay, I had the right one. Uh, I keep clicking away my reference. How about you don't do that? And it's about in the corner. I'm like, I'm not... Hey, I am Leviathan! Oh my god, you are on fire with the super chats, as always. And it's a yellow one. That's honestly a gift to us all. Uh, by the way, I'm going to try to stay engaged with the live stream, but I wasn't kidding when I said I'm barely coherent. I'm so tired, so no offense intended if I pass out halfway through. I've been told, even though I find it hard to fathom, but I've been told I have a soothing voice that people regularly fall asleep to. So, honestly, I'd be happy if that happens to you right now, because you, you would deserve your rest. You would deserve the sleep. So I, ho I hope... I hope that you're gonna pass out halfway through and that uh, <laughs> this stream can help you out in that regard. Uh, but no sleep quite yet. First, you must shimmy along to the dancing dialogue. Oh yeah. Give me a shimmy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, more? Should this not be a continuous line, Ego? Was that not... Was was this not? Oh no 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 no. Okay no no. They're a little bit. They're a little bit off. Okay. That's fine then. There. So many legumes. Hold on. Let's get it centered with that. Okay. We're getting close to the finish line here. Oh, that was a pretty, pretty decent uh, sketcher doodle. Although we are a little bit off-centered, actually, with the sketcher doodle. Should be a little bit more like that, because this is supposed to be just one straight line, and then this one. Yep, pretty good. Okay, cool beads. Oh, Jesus, I, I clicked the wrong thing. Excuse me. Um, gaming stall. My favorite Jurassic scene. Probably the kitchen scene. With the, the raptors in the kitchen, I obviously mean. Um, which aviary do I want to use? Hmm. I think I'm going to go for these. Ooh, ooh, in my...
my in my sketch I had enough space here to um Hold on, maybe if I move it a little bit. Again, folks, you gotta stay flexible. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Let's hope I can still sneak a path through. And over here. I think that'll work. Yeah, that's, that's plenty of space. We might actually have to uh, center that one after all. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, it was not as on. I was just thinking. Oh, hold on. One thing I... Oh, no. Oh, I, I already messed up. I am not paying attention to how the buildings would connect to these uh, aviaries and lagoons. I already messed up. Okay. Cool. My favorite scene from this series is the scene in the book where the compies eat a baby. Oh my god, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm also uh, plagiarizing, plagiarizing, or maybe maybe a kinder way of saying pay homage to that scene in my uh, in my Jurassic sequel script because it's just oh man, it's just so creepy. Honestly, the entire book is so much creepier than than any of the movies. Especially the later movies. The later movies get really um, kid-friendly. Yeah, see? She messed up. She already messed up. Gosh dang it. Because <laughs> it would have to be... Um... Okay, so where do they actually attach? Hold on. Let me, ch let me check this. Do they attach at the arrows? That would make sense, wouldn't it? I know it's not in the right place, but I just had... I needed to have it point at... God dang it, how many times are you going to click on the wrong thing, woman? Yes, okay, it attaches at the arrow. Cool. I always forget. I literally... I don't know why, but I really do always forget. Okay, so... God dang it! <laughs> good enough, good enough, good enough. Alright, now we gotta sort of center it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how it's gotta go. And finally this one. Alright, this one my sketch was a little bit off. All right, let's see if I did okay over here. God dang it, woman. Stop clicking on the wrong thing. Please, I beg of you. I guess for these, it's not too important where it's gonna be. I think for this one though, I would want the viewing thing to be at the back. So let's, let's do that. Okay, what was this one like? Yeah, well, that obviously wouldn't work. I think it should be... Okay. Be gone! Connects at the arrow. Alright, I think I think for these it's not gonna be too important. I hope. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. Gaming stall, what are my PC specs? Uh, you can actually check that out on the channel, on the uh, the about section of the channel homepage. What if they made a Jurassic Park, but it's more book accurate, asks Argyle Fan 478. Um, although, I w on one hand, I would love it. On the other hand, I really don't want them to waste any time and money on that. 
We have a really good Jurassic Park movie. We have a really good Jurassic Park novel. It's okay that they're their own thing and that they're different. Um, I would hate, let's say like hypothetically the next movie would be, it's not, but let's say it would be like a complete reboot, a complete redo. I would, I would feel like that's super wasteful. Even if they give us a Jurassic Park movie that's accurate to the books, I think that'd be wasteful. Let's, let's not even, let's not even go there. It would have been nice if that was the way it was originally. It wasn't. And I'm really not mad about that. I don't, I don't need them to go that route. Thanks to Christy. Thank you so, so much. Not having a great time. Been working since 6 a.m. And had to scrap everything since I couldn't get it to five star. 6 a.m. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my entire week would be ruined if I had to get out at 6 a.m. for anything. I appreciate the super chat though. Thank you so so much. Hold on. Hug time. <laughs> I Leviathan is still awake. He's still with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hold on, I'm gonna get the dial of dancing first. <laughs> A bit of awesome news though, I finally have a shiny Flygon. I'm assuming that's a Pokemon, never heard of it. Uh, it took me almost 2,000 eggs despite having the shiny charm and using the Masuda method. So so many words that I don't know. My luck is so terrible, but I finally got my favorite. Ah, there you go. Generation 3 Pokemon shiny. I'm happy for you, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm um, I'm very much a Generation 1 girly. I don't I don't know any of the newer newer generations. Um yeah, okay, and I need two more aviaries in these sections. Uh delete. <coughs> and we were gonna go with these. Is there gonna be enough space? Uh, maybe not. That should be enough space, right? Let's just pretend that it will be. Alright, let's see. Moan of truth. This is not where the... Uh, okay. Yeah! Oh, plenty of space! Plenty of space! Oh, wow. I... I was pretty off here. <laughs> let's give it a little bit more. Try to be even with it. Even Steven. There. Alright. Rex's Game Bro says, I haven't really been with Pokemon since X and Y. Oh god, I, I never even played the, the games. <laughs> I did. I, 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 I like collected the cards. Uh, I had like uh, a poster of all the Generation One Pokemon on my on my bedroom door. I never got into the games, and of course, I watched like the original TV show. But that's about that's about it. Hey, we just passed two hundred likes. Thank you guys so so much. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only person other than my dad that said even Steven. I have been accused slash complimented for having dad humor before. I am pretty much a dad. <laughs> Savannah Barnes, I couldn't even name five Pokemon. I could, but they would all be the, like the old ones. Um, I'm going to change this up. Which... um. It's scary. Hold on. Let me let me save before I maybe ruin everything. Okay. All species. All species. All species. There we go. Mr. Loophole, have we done Archelon yet? Darling, <laughs> there's literally only two dinosaurs in this entire park at the moment. This is a slow park build. Slow. I just realized that, you know, during... Uh, uh, the, the, like, bankruptcy park build. That, you know, building for the entertainment value of a stream just doesn't lead to the best parks. And I want to build the best park. So, yeah, we're taking it, we're taking it very slow. 
And if that means that the streams are less enjoyable, then, you know, that's... That's something that's just gonna be the case. It, it is what it is. You know, if you want to see if you want to see dinosaurs, obviously, you know, you have like the the building series and the tip videos and all that. Yeah, I want this more organic. Um. Like it, just, it just needs to fit the shape better. Do you want to delete it that far? Maybe. Sure. Let's just go for it. <clears throat> Harry Glacier, any dinosaurs getting added today? We will add dinosaurs, sure, but it, it might be just one species. I really think you should view these uh, this stream series more as um, you know what what some other YouTubers you you might have seen do where they're just you know they're they're just doing busy work and you're just just you're just along for it. You know some YouTubers stream while they're making thumbnails or while they're doing certain editing work. It, it's more like that. Let me try to figure out how to uh, connect this sort of nicely. I think this should just go across. I guess we might as well make it an angle. It doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. Maybe I'll narrow it. Flygon is a ground slash dragon type and is equal parts awesome and adorable. It's also fast and hits hard and can flies, has the levitate ability, which is abnormal for a ground type. That makes sense. <laughs> it's regarded as a desert spirit in game. That sounds pretty cool. Hold on, I'm gonna have to Google that real quick. Just real quick. Oh, it is adorable! Look at that! Oh. Oh, wow, it looks a little scary in this one. <laughs> Hold on, let's get let's get the dino dancing. Thank you so much, uh, I'm Leviathan. I love it. <laughs> Basically a cherish heart, but with less fire. <laughs> Oh, the park is really, it's its not its not even at all. Uh, am I going to lean into that? I might lean into that. What I might do is um, actually use all of this excess space on the sides for, like, staff routes. Oh, I think that might be, I think that might be interesting. So what I should do is end it here, because this is going to be staff section, you know, it's just going to sort of be at the border of the entire park here as well. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That, I think that's an idea, actually. So we're actually gonna be using this space, sort of like a highway, highway to the, I don't know, <laughs> compost heap <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> whatever staff access is needed. All right, let me detach this one. Hey, Pen Peroni! Thank you for becoming a paleontologist. That's awesome. Welcome. I have a beautiful clip to show you. I have a beautiful clip to show you all. If anyone, if any one of you happens to be uh, Gareth Edwards, you know, just watching anonymously, I love you and also I'm available. Not to, wait. <laughs> I'm available to do the special effects on your movie, as you can see from my uh, my audition tape right here. There you go. <laughs> That came out so wrong. I think it's I think it's time for a fizzy drink moment. There you go. I think I earned that one. All right. Hey, love game selfie. Thank you so so much. A hug. Oh no, your computer's not working, so I'm not gonna use the stream to calm down my nerves. Oh no. 
Hope you're well, Evil. Your streams help me. I'm so, so sorry that you're having technical difficulties. As a fellow sufferer of technical difficulties, I understand how incredibly frustrating that is. I hope it's gonna get uh, resolved. It, it always stresses me out as well. Is this... I think it's an optical illusion of this little little hump right here, but it kind of looked like the... Like the terrain wasn't even. Now, now, every time I say even, I think of even Steven. My god, I'm such a dad. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get a little little fancy with it. Just just the smallest hint of fancy. Because, you know, we're just like that. We're just like that. <laughs> Evolutionary dino. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god, okay. Um, I'm thinking of doing something a little different. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out the way intended, but... You'll see, you'll see. So I was thinking about doing the buildings at like a bit of an angle like that. I don't know, it might be really stupid. It probably will be. Let's let's just be honest there. But you know, we're trying things. We're trying things. Magical, magical, magical things. Oh my god, this will be this will be the park where I customize the buildings. Don't you worry, children. Don't you worry. I will customize the buildings. It will be an epic moment on the channel. We will remember this forever. Not to overhype it or anything, but I think that deserves the fanfare. I think it does. Yeah, I don't I don't think I hate that. I think that's kinda cute. Maybe? Kinda? That's a fan of ours says, I call bullshit. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I am so gonna customize them. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna customize them like you've never seen before. So much customizing, so much wow. Just wanna make sure that I can keep fitting those uh, wall pieces. Jesus Christ. Wow, I really do always click on the wrong thing, don't I? It's impressive. Oh, come on! What? What? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. This game? This game is my arch nemesis, I tell you. I'm in an abusive relationship with this game. Oh, boy. That's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be a thing. <sighs> okay. Okay, one thing I realized as I was doing that is I need like a little a little bit of a guideline. Cuz we were getting closer and closer with every building, which is not really what I want what I wanted. And how about if we do it like that? Here, start at a 45 degree angle. Maybe start with a big one. Jesus Christ, that's not where the buildings are. Big, big shop. Big, huge, humongous. Now, of course, it's going to be an absolute nightmare to get that even. <laughs> even Steven. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a, I'm a broken, broken person. You know what? No, we'll do it. Well, okay. I just think it's going to be nice to have it facing the entry as opposed to looking at the sides of the buildings. Like, yeah, you could also just angle the entrance, but... Uneven, Steven. <laughs> Hmm. 
This game will be the death of me. Thank you. Uneven Robert. <laughs> oh, come on. Will I ever not click on the wrong thing? This is not going according to plan in the slightest. The plan is failing. We'll see. I have little little I have little faith left in the plan. This is why. This is probably why I don't usually plan. <laughs> Good God, woman! Good God, woman! Hey, it's a gaming. No, how is it going? <laughs> Hold on, a heart. Hey, Evo. To be honest with me, do you agree? In Jurassic Park Three, the fight between the T Rex and the Spinosaurus is by far one of the most inaccurate scenes in the whole series. Um. I mean, considering how inaccurate the entire series is, I find it hard to agree. Because I think what you're going with is, okay, Spinosaurus was a uh, fish eater and, you know, the jaws weren't that strong. But, you know, it's it's not an accurate Spinosaurus anyway. I, uh, I guess that sort of adds to the inaccuracy of the scene. I don't know. I've never been... People want me to be mad at that scene. I'm not mad at that scene. I, I thought it was cool. I still think it's cool. I'm, I'm still fine with it. I'm not I'm not that protective of the um, the T-Rex TBH. Hold on, let's uh hold on, let's do the dialo dancing. Get ready to dance though. Here, yeah, this is the, this is the most inaccurate scene. <laughs> a a dialo dancing, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, Pan Pepperoni! Thank you so much for your super chat. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I'm blown away. That is incredibly, incredibly generous. Um, I always struggle to uh, express my gratitude, but I have a clip for you that I hope showcases sort of the awesomeness that is you. Okay, just envision that. In the meantime... In the meantime... <laughs> oh, I can't deal with this. Oh, anyway. Uh, Pan Pepperoni! Well, hello! Thanks for the Rexy welcoming. I can only send a friendly hi from uh, Czech. I love the content you are making and I would love to thank you for your inspiration at my park builds. Let's hope I can improve from watching a pro at this. You are way too generous, both with your super chat and with your kind words. Thank you so, so much. I do hope that the channel is gonna give you some ideas, but I bet you're a way better, better park builder than you give yourself credit for. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining the live stream and for that incredible super chat. Oh, I can still heart it. Yeah, I love hearting things. It's, it's my hobby. It's my hobby. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to start over again. This is just not working out. I don't know why it's this difficult to make it work. I really don't know why. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do the first one. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the first one in an angle. And the other ones are just gonna be straight. That's not straight. And we're gonna angle the entry. I feel like... That's gonna preserve my sanity, maybe. De debatable, honestly. But let's give it, let's give it the good old college try. Preserve some brain cells. Here, we'll also have it over there. Hold control. Okay. Hey, I'm Leviathan. <laughs> Glad you're still awake. Or maybe not. I don't know. I feel like I feel like we should need to lull you to sleep. Maybe maybe a raptor hug will do it. <laughs> there. <laughs> That fight should have been over the moment the Rex bit down on the Spino's neck. I'd like I'd like that fight way more if it was more sensible. Yeah, I mean, they do pull some, like, weird wrestler moves. Like, <laughs> at some point you think, Is the Spino gonna body slam the T-Rex right now? What is happening? 
but you know i'm not i'm not personally mad at inaccuracies in this series i've just sort of accepted it i don't even know how to explain it i don't know i'm just not mad at stuff like that it's a cool fight um <laughs> it's really the only opinion i have on it John Spino incoming. <laughs> uh, God. I've spent way too much time on this already. Good God, sometimes. There you go. Is that gonna be good enough? I think so. Good God, man. Oh, sometimes it's so difficult to line this stuff out. I think, hold on, I think I can just do it. Yeah, we're gonna, okay, yeah. I might pull it back a teeny tiny bit. Sorry, folks, like I, like I keep saying, this is the slow cooker build. Very, very slow. Come on. There you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the chick house. Thank you so, so much. Don't worry about it, though. I appreciate it, but don't worry about it. I can't resist. I live vicariously through your park decorating. No matter how hard I try, it looks bad. Look, you can see me struggling, too. Honestly, you know, I struggle, too, with stuff. And it's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much, I'm gonna give you a hug. And T Gaming, -Gaming No coming through with another super generous super chat. You guys are very generous today, and I I appreciate it. I won't go into it, but it's uh it's been a scary slash depressing week this week with regards to YouTube. So I re I really appreciate it. Uh appreciate this. Thank you guys so so much. Uh a Mosa clip and then I'm gonna read your comments, T Gaming No. I know, but when they started fighting, notice how the T-Rex immediately went for the neck at that very moment. The Spino would have immediately been killed because in case you forgot, T-Rex had the strongest bite force of any land animal. I... Yes, I know. Uh, that's exac exactly the same thing Ayn Leviathan pointed out. I gotta admit, I don't even... Like... If you tell me, oh, what is your opinion of the T-Rex versus Spino fight? I don't even remember that specific part of it. I don't... I don't sit there remembering that you know the spino went for the t-rex neck literally forgets details like that and that's because it doesn't bother me so it it doesn't you know how do i say this it it doesn't get saved in the memory files <laughs> i just think dino fight go <laughs> that's that's all there is to it like i get i okay how do i say this i get why people don't like it um like, uh, what you... <laughs> what is happening right now? Uh, I get why people don't like it. I just personally... Not mad at it. Come on. What is this game sometimes, man? What is... What is this game? What is life? What is life? Strongest bite force known to have ever existed somehow didn't break the Spino's neck. I'd have preferred it if they'd made the Rex a juvenile, so it made sense for it to lose. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Again, I, I understand why people don't like it. I'm just... Look, in a movie that before this scene, we had a raptor dream scene. I At that moment, I knew what to expect from that movie. I think maybe that's how I should express it. <laughs> you know, it, 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 Jurassic Park 3 is, it's a thing. <laughs> that's all I can, that's the only way I guess I can explain it. Like, within the context of the movie that it's in, I really can't be mad at it. <laughs> Hold on, did I do the title dance? I don't think so. Maybe I did. It doesn't matter. We're going to do it again. I don't know. <laughs> 
It's taking me forever to place these buildings. Okay, so hold on. What I wanted to do is if we angle the entrance now here, and that sort of creates the a similar effect. You know what? That's fine. That's I think that's a good way to cheat the system. Oh, this game really breaks my heart sometimes. Like, why is this so difficult? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a gaming, no, but yet somehow it was a better fight than the T Rex versus Giga. Uh, T Rex versus Giga. Oh, from the end of Dominion. God, see, this is what I mean. I don't even really commit this sort of stuff to memory, man. I thought the T Rex versus Giga fight was cool as well. I don't know what to tell you. I'm the wrong person to ask this sort of stuff. You know what I get upset about? Planters. <laughs> That's what I get upset about. Hold on, I'm pulling up my socks. <laughs> oh man. Oh, let's get this dialogue dancing again, because what the <laughs> <laughs> I love the raptor dream scene for no other reason than how Lego Jurassic World made fun of it. Lego has the best humor, man. They are amazing. Also, what if that theory is true of the Rex being the baby from the Lost World? Um, I th I don't I don't recall if it's official. I think that was debunked, but I don't know, man. The lore for Jurassic Park is something that gets me really upset. Like people people who really are gung-ho about the lore, that gets me angry. <laughs> Cuz the lore is a mess. People just make stuff up as they go. Directors make stuff up as they go. It's a mess. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Let's actually do a different building. What is this? This is sushi. I must change this. It must be drinks. I need drinks. Oh, I have a drink. Hold on. Let me get a drink. Uh, change the drink. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ah. Brandy Lehman, I never played the Lego games. I played through part of it. We did a little bit on streams. Uh, unfortunately, le uh, the Lego Jurassic World game is so old that it's not really compatible with OBS. So it's 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 a big struggle to stream. It gets really annoying. Because you can't like switch between OBS and the game. It's a, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a, it's a thing. Alt con I thought oh I, I held shift. I always have my pinky on the wrong thing. And let's do another thing, maybe another food thing. Cause why not? We're living we're living the dream over here. See, I held shift again. Cause I'm an idiot. I'm a certified freaking buffoon. All right, it's not, it's not exactly what I wanted, but you know, I guess I'll take it. I guess. It it hurts my heart, but I'll take it. Pan pepperoni, <laughs> thank you so much. Also, I love saying your name, <laughs> Pan pepperoni. <laughs> uh, look, the T Rex wasn't that bad in accuracy for the time, except the teeth and Spino. Well, we didn't know about that Dino as much as today. Honestly, Spino changes every couple of months. <laughs> They're all amazing animals, and it's sad we can't bring them back yet. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I would not want them to bring back dinosaurs. No, 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 no. No, that's not... Um... Oh, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a QA and a video soon. So there's a post on the channel right now where you can ask your questions. And the reason I'm referencing that right now, you might be thinking, uh, weird plug, but okay. <laughs> The reason I'm mentioning that is because one of the recurring questions that I always get is which dinosaur would you bring back from extinction? Which dinosaur would you want to have as a pet? None. I don't want a dinosaur as a pet. I don't want them to bring dinosaurs back from extinction. Please. 
f harness thine scientific prowess in other ways. Like, find a way to make our pets live as long as us. Find a way to cure cancer. Find a freaking way to stop global warming. Don't bother bring back the dinosaurs, okay? We're cool with them. We love them. But we don't need them, okay? <laughs> Hey, a tipsy aviator! That's one of the winners from uh, Battle of the Builders. <laughs> Thank you so much for your super chat. I will always be amazed at the obsession with accuracy in a franchise that is science fiction. <laughs> also, your park is coming together nicely. <laughs> thank you very, very slowly, but thank you. I appreciate the uh, the, f the voice of confidence. <laughs> You're alone. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Seriously, my confidence in this park and my building skills overall is plummeting. <laughs> like it's going down faster than that airplane in Jurassic Park 3. That's that's how we're that's how we're gonna <laughs> phrase it. The Jurassic Gamer, why not have the last two buildings face the innovation center? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Dang it, <laughs> you're probably right. Hold on though. Um, it will have to be a small building so we can get the angle. Yeah, you are right. Let's see if we can make that happen. Semi nicely. That's that's way too hardcore of an angle though. Hmm. Maybe if we just take it from here. It is it is better. It's a, it's a bit more dynamic. the drawsaurus member for 10 months that's awesome i am doing good i hope you're doing good as well okay now it's gonna get now it's gonna get freaking dicey how am i oh god i hate i hate this so much it fills me with pain oh we're gonna have to fill that up with some 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 fluffy bushes that's for sure Oh, that works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I reverse engineer that? Oh, beautiful. Amazing. Fantastic. Wonderful. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Rabbit Wrangler, I need your tips on the grids, please. I have a video on how to do the grid. Um... I'm trying to think what the title is, so, um, hold on, I might be able to chuck the link for you into the chat. Oh god, oh Jesus, oh boy. Hello? There you go. God, yeah, what did I title it? Uh, I think something like Create Any Island Shape or something. Uh, yeah, How to Create Any Island Shape. See, I have a memory, it's just used for, you know... Nonsense. Oh, god dang it. Sarcastically beat me to it. <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I literally I have it right here. I'm going to post it again. <laughs> I did not go all that way. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Why did, why did the links look different? Hold on one second. Welcome to a no, it is the same video. Why are the links different? That's weird. Wait, did I link the right one? Yeah, okay, anyway. <laughs> cool. I learned something today. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm a professional. Clearly. Sometimes my genius, it astounds me. There. See? Nobody has to know. Wow. This is literally all I've done during this 
It's been an hour. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, God. Please forgive me, people. Please forgive me. It's, um... I, I have no excuses. <laughs> but forgive me anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want to... Okay. What do I want to do? I, I know I should I should just fill this in entirely. I was thinking of maybe doing a cutout of some description, but I want to keep I want to keep the view unobstructed. Gotta be mindful of the clipping here. I think we're going to change it up to a different path color right there. Yeah, I think that'll be a good point to connect a different color. Otherwise, it's going to be a whole lot of this gray. We need no terrain constraints. We do indeed. I don't... I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that terrain constraints are always going to be a thing in this game. But they could definitely do some improving. Like some, some minimizing of the terrain constraints. Because it's, it's a little... a lot exaggerated. It's a bit extreme. It's because Frontier hates us. <laughs> they don't, but... I really just feel... I really feel like, um, you know, Frontier has the Planet Zoo series, which is an amazing building series, uh, like a series of games. And I really feel like those games were built by developers who love building. And I feel like Jurassic World Evolution and Jurassic World Evolution 2 were made by developers who are not builders. I... I'm probably struggling to, like, phrase that in a way that doesn't sound incredibly condescending. But I just mean, like, everyone prefers different kinds of playstyles, different kinds of games. And I just feel like the people who made Jurassic World Evolution, like, both of them, they don't think like builders. You know, they don't think about how annoying these terrain constraints are. They don't think... Um, one of my favorite examples is... Um, hold on. Let me grab it. Let me, let me let me find it. Here, this thing. This wall piece is amazing. I love this wall piece. It's fantastic. But it was designed or thought up by someone who was just like, okay, well, people are going to place a wall like that. And that's it. And they're just going to move on. They're just going to place this one singular wall. But as a builder, you think to yourself, no, 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 no. I'm going to make an actual wall with it. So I'm going to do this and that leaves us with these gaps if if the person who made this wall piece thought like a builder it wouldn't have these gaps like this in my opinion at least or i don't know they would they would have found an elegant way to to solve that oh boy it's rant time it is indeed look sometimes you know i love frontier i i appreciate i appreciate what they've done here but I just don't think they think like a builder a lot of the times. Alright. We're gonna go with a different color now. We're gonna switch it up. Do I wanna... Do I wanna use the fancy path? I, I guess so. Why is this? Oh, there you go. Ugh. See, and this is this is why I do look forward to using mods, like just just to get rid of that ridiculous open space right there. Like, what even is that? Fills me with rage, I tell you. Oh Jesus! I guess that's the least clipping that we're gonna get. Doo -doo. Think, Frontier! Think! <laughs> Alright, let me look at my uh, my reference again. 
What did I do? So this is basically apparently one entire enclosure. That's huge. Okay, so we're going to be using some big species then. Which I have this entire thing as one habitat. Okay. I think it's... um, I think sauropods would be cool then. I'm just going to get rid of... I could have used the brush, but it's too late now. I've, I've committed. I've committed to the bit. Okay, so in terms of fencing... Let's, um... I'm gonna leave a little bit of space so I can sneak some bushes in and trees in front of it as well. Make it make it nice and purdy. Making an effort here. Wow, Pampa Peroni, you are so so generous. I don't know what to say. Okay, I have to get back to work. If you love my name, then let Mr. Pepperoni bring you a lot of pepper. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to give you at least some support. Emotional as well. See ya. Good luck with the build. Looks amazing already. You are very, very kind. Very, very generous. Have a great day at work. And I uh, hope to see you again for, for future chats. Uh, don't feel like you have to donate. Obviously, I appreciate it. A ton means a lot to me. It's very, very special. But I just appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me. Uh, all right. To send you off here with the Moza clip. Hold on, let me find it. There she is. Thanks so much again. Pan Pepperoni. <laughs>my god it was ages ago i love it then i am so sorry that went way by me i was probably ranting at the time <laughs> my two biggest complaints about the original trilogy the lost world ended with the san diego scene instead of the hunters and protagonists getting ambushed by camouflage Cardos, and what jack horner did to jurassic park 3 <laughs> jack horner's legacy man he went he went from like being super respected to now kind of being i oh it's kind of mean to say but like it's kind of a punchline nowadays isn't he it's kind of sad i, I feel kind of sad for the guy <laughs> but yeah camouflage and carnos love those they're they are a part of of my jurassic sequel scripts if i ever 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 write the dang thing <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, I love that. I'm so sorry. That completely went by me, but we're gonna get this dialogue dancing. <laughs> Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Oh, and it was right after the uh, the member message. That's so weird. Alright, well, I'm caught up now. Okay. Uh, I really need to have my reference open here. Oh, I have... Hold on, I have another lagoon in my sketch. There's a lagoon over here. Oh my god, so many lagoons. But I guess I need it. Because I suppose right now we only have 12. Hold on, let me count. It's kind of difficult to count because we don't have a good overview. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I only have 12. I need 13. So yeah. Okay, see, good thing I checked my sketch. Snuck in another lagoon. Right on that. Oh god, let's get rid of angle snap. That habitat is becoming smaller and smaller as we speak. <laughs> Counting with evil. <laughs> Camouflaging carnos like the Indominus Rex. Yeah, in the um Sorry, I got real close to the microphone there. I'm taking off my vest. Um, in the uh, Lost World novel, the the Cardos can camouflage. And it's pretty cool. There you go. <clears throat> 
Last time she counted, she skipped six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it was in the grid video, actually. Oh, happy, happy memories. Okay. <clears throat> Um, fences. Going back up. Okay, so I can make it a little bit bigger, but I do want to leave space for, um, yeah, like a, a staff access road that's gonna go back there. I think that's kind of neat. Kind of nifty. I like saying nifty. Nifty, miffed, and chuffed are like my favorite words at the moment. I love those words. They, they tickle me. At some point, we're just gonna sneak that back there. I had a fight, and well, I give up. I'm so damn tired, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Have a good rest of your day, Evo. Thank you so much, I had a fight, and you have a good, good rest. Enjoy your weekend, and hang on until that three-day weekend. Thank you so, so much for everything. A hug before you go to sleep. <laughs> Nifty is a great word. It is a great word. It's a fantastic word. It's beautiful, it's brilliant, it's amazing. This is gonna be difficult, trying to get a uh, path. Hold on, let's um, let's attach the building first. Duh. Uh, this one. In there. I guess we don't have to go around it. Let's maybe not do that so we preserve some more space. It's gonna be it's gonna be become a kind of a weird connection point, honestly. Hmm. I think. Oh god, it's really heating up in here. I turned on the the heat because I was cold earlier today, but it's like it's exploding with heat in here now. Oh, that's gonna cause clipping if I do that. Oh well. Oh well. Let me think about this. I prefer neat. Nah, I think nifty sounds cute. Maybe I just like words with the F sound. Miffed, chuffed, nifty. I just think it's I just think it's adorable. God dang it. Starting even further back. For frick's sake, man, this game sometimes just grinds my gears, I tell you. I can start even further. All right, like that then. Just doing a thing here, folks. Just doing a thing. Don't mind me. Things are being done, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, because I, I don't want... Okay, you know what? Let's maybe go with that. It's a little weird, but I think I can figure it out at some point. It's a little... It's a little bigger than I wanted. That's what she said. <laughs> no, we never say that. <laughs> oh, walk it right back. Okay. God dang it. She struggles. The struggle is real. Like that? I guess? Yeah, maybe like that. You know what else is a good word? 40? Is that a good word? I'm not happy with 
this. Imagine going to that park only for paths to appear out of nowhere. No, no, what's even scarier is that the paths disappear out of nowhere. You're just walking along, following the path, and all of a sudden you're, you're like, you know, a sim that had their action deleted. Like, what the frick are you supposed to do now? Just all lost in the world. Hold on. I think I, I think I just need to trust the sketch. And the sketch was just this big honking path down the middle. So, you know... Trust the sketch. When in doubt, trust thine sketch. No, we'll go a little bit inside then. Maybe, maybe that's a little better. Okay. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> I Leviathan, go to sleep. Go to sleep, my friend. <laughs> One more thing, just thought of this. A good night hug from a raptor would be pretty damn permanent, wouldn't it? It's okay going to bed now. You know, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you that hug. You look you're gonna sleep. Even if you want to or not. <laughs> Thanks so much, mates. All right, I really just want to finish this habitat so we can actually get a dinosaur in today. It's not that I don't think about you guys. Okay, that's okay. That's as close as we can go. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna fill in the gaps with like bushes and stuff like that. Fluffy bush to the rescue. There, see, beautiful. That's a good bush right there. If we chuck in, here, if we chuck in this one, oh, so much fluff. Look at all that fluff. You know, you're not even gonna see the fence. You're not even gonna see the dang fence. Beautiful. All right, so it's not actually a huge habitat, but for this park, it's probably one of the biggest. So I think we're gonna do sauropods over here. Like, um, I think I, I really like having Bracky near the entry, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. Can we fit a rock in there? Is it worth to get the Malta expansion? I personally think so, yes. Uh, you did just miss a really huge sale, so that's a shame. Maybe maybe wait until it goes on sale again. Um, but, you know, expansions just give you more stuff to build with, which I think is always important. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, personally, I think the Malta expansion is worth it. Like, you get the, the wall piece, which is really, really excellent in my opinion. Um, the buildings I don't use that much, but you do get a really nice hotel with the Malta sets. And of course, in terms of dinosaurs, it just depends on which, you know, which dinosaur species you like. See, it's fine. It's fine. You know, yeah, I think that's a pretty decent size. Again, for this park. But you know what? In Noah's Ark, all the animals in the world were crammed into one tiny boat. Okay, so this is quite spacious, all things considered. <clears throat> Let's just, <laughs> just, just go with it, okay? Just go with it. I think it would be kind of cool if... Yeah, you could see the brackies behind there. I was gonna do a little bit of a 
a hill behind it, but I don't think we're gonna do that. Let's do a hill, like, right through the middle. the chick house just thought of the best Mementchi name ramen that is a good Mementchi name <laughs> ramen it's a weird weird little mountain isn't it oh well we we endorse weird on this channel weird is good weird is fine i'm probably gonna want to use yeah water to sort of connect the aviary with the outside world that's kind of nifty, if I say so myself. I'll stop now. I'll, I'll try at least. An attempt will be made to stop. Ooh, is drinking still on? If drinking is still on, and we're going to make an effort to keep drinking on, if it is the case. Yes. Oh, hold on. Dinosaurs don't starve. Uh... Airports, there you go. Oh no, hold on, I did have it on. Hold on, dinosaurs don't... There you go. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Off. I completely misread what that said. There you go. This is how we're gonna do it. I just... Hold on, I just realized why I had it like that. <laughs> it was to save on memory space. So we're actually... Starving is gonna be an all dinosaur thing. So we don't have... We don't need feeders, which I think... Is gonna be taking up quite a bit of memory space. But if we can... If we can still have them drink, then we're gonna guarantee that the sauropods are gonna come over here. So we can see them from from this thing. Which would be kind of cool. Okay. Oh! Uh, what is going to be my female... Oh, I don't know to... <laughs> I don't know how to access my file from... Here, because it's on, it's on my desktop. Hold on. Here, desktop. There we go. Uh, hold on. Let me screen share before I give away all of the upcoming videos, because it's in the same file. <laughs> I am screen sharing. Let's start game sharing. There we go. My male and female skins are in the same file as like my video planning, so I'm not gonna give away all of the. All of the cool videos that are coming. No, no, you're just gonna have to, uh, you know, subscribe and <laughs> just wait. Okay, for the Bracky. Because I'm pretty sure we did look at the skins for the Bracky. We didn't! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to go to the species viewer anyway. God dang it. Alright, we're gonna have to make a little trip. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, let's go to the species viewer. Let's see which brackies we want. Species viewer. No. Bracky, 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 bracky. Okay, so I think... We should use, like, the different variants. So I think male, this one, the chonky one. And then these will be females. She's on a diet. You know, it's like King of Queens or any other sitcom. You know, the guy is a little, little puffy. Little, you know, got some love handles. And for some reason, the woman is always skinny. Um, so yeah, the male is going to be this variant. And then what do we like? What do you guys like? Will be good. I think this looks pretty cool. Hold on. Or with the green. Ooh. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna write it down just, just in case I don't find anything better. Okay, so it's Solar. With Pokrana? Maybe, maybe. Let's see what the female um, could possibly look like. 
And then the female. Oh, Bracky has such ugly skins. Oh, it just like, oh, it just hit me again. Maybe it should just be this one. Why, why did Frontier do the sauropod so dirty? Honestly, I think without a pattern, it's already better. What do you, what do you guys think? Any, any suggestions? I miss King of Queens. <laughs> My Queen Bracky deserves better, damn it! Yeah, I agree. Oh, I just, oh, I just wish Frontier would do better sauropod skins just across the board. Adding Puffy to the list of fly words. Yeah! Okay, so we have Chuffed, Miffed, Nifty, and Puffy. I really do like my F words. <laughs> Some Welsh Sky, I really like uh, the bright green. Chick House, Mangrove, what was that? Mangrove is this one. You know, I'm also not mad at the bright green, to be honest. I will just go for bright green. So it will be Amazon with nothing. Oh my god. Sexy. <laughs> uh, let's just double check then if I still like the, the milk with that. Oh, that's right. Should I just go for my favorite skin? This is my favorite skin, I think. Was it that one? I think so. Or this one. Oh, that looks so- I, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. I love this skin, I have to. It's, 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 it's not even a choice at this point. So what I think we'll do is we're gonna actually use the chick house suggestion and do the bluish female as well. So they, they look like they match a little bit better. Amazon with Pilo. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. Brecky 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 mangrove. Okay, so homework done. Let's go all the way back Ugh. to the safe file. First, you go back to the main menu. A lick check. Hey, three hundred likes. Thank you guys so so much. You guys are awesome. Lick it. Where are you? There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Come chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Still the best cinematic laugh ever. Okay, here we go. Wow, an hour and a half in, we're finally gonna make a dinosaur. When I say slow, I mean slow. <laughs> ah, God. Oh, right. This park build, t it, it, like I said, it takes a while to load. It's the grid. For some reason, the game really struggles loading the grid. I think it's a, diff a difficult, like, guest calculation to run or something. Hey, Brody Duncan, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. I had a, I had a headache before the stream, but it's not really bothering me anymore. I think you guys help it's like a distraction i think it, i think it's just so awesome you know i we're gonna get a little we're gonna get a little sappy here but i really appreciate you guys just you know hang out with me i think that's so cool that you would spend your time with me i think that's that's really kind all right i'm not gonna we're not gonna get into it though <laughs> this is not my oscar uh award uh, speech <laughs> uh, okay here we go uh, what did I say? The female is gonna be this. And the male... Boop. Was gonna be Amazon with Pilo. Blue on blue. Cheers. Flix Aviation. What editing software do I use? I use Premiere Pro. I had some really huge struggles with it for a long time, but we finally 
we finally fixed it. And by we, I mean, I, I did have to contact uh, support. <laughs> <laughs> but we finally, I mean they, they finally fixed it. And since then I've been really happy with Premiere Pro. It's very expensive though, so I'm still not quite sure if I would recommend it. But I have been really pleased with it. But it's just hella expensive. Okay, visually that also makes it quite a bit smaller, but... Let's, let's get a little bit of um, quote-unquote mountain visible here. I haven't even worked on the uh, <laughs> Triceratops and Stegoceratops habitat, the poor babes. The poor babes. Uh, I just realized something pretty stupid. Uh, obviously, to get <laughs> flying reptiles in there, I need to attach a hatchery. Oh, well. We'll temporarily have to replace the, um, the viewing thing. Cool beans! Monatalia, holy moly, I checked. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, uh, I have like the full Adobe Creative Package. Um, and I think it's 36 euros per month to have Premiere Pro. And all of their other um, stuff, but it's hella expensive. Can we just talk about how Bracky had some of the worst skins and now has some of the best? Yeah, they did an amazing job with the new skins that they added in that uh, in that free update. And I... Oh man, I just wish that other sauropods would get that same amount of love, you know? Because it... Oh, it was just so good. Amazing. Alright, let's... um. Let's stuff some foliage in here. Make it look all natural. See, just... Just for the sounds that they make, it's just worth having a Brachiosaurus in, in any park. I would go so far as to say that a Brachiosaurus... If you're, if you're only gonna have one, like, must-have dinosaur in every single park, I think it should be Brachiosaurus over T-Rex. T-Rex is way too freaking noisy. It is so annoying how often the T-Rexes roar. Am I alone in this? This is like a personal pet peeve of me. They make so much noise, the T-Rexes. Hello, beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. I really, I don't want to do too much detail. I feel like that's something to do later, you know? I really think that the first building pass should just be getting in all of the exhibits, getting in all of the dinosaurs, and then if the park hasn't crashed by then, I can, like, start adding, you know, this level of decoration all over the place. But I, I don't think we should fan out all the way on our first pass like that, because I, I think that's going to end very, very, very badly. Yeah, come on then, come on then. <laughs> Malatali says, yeah, Brack is just doing cute noises and T-Rex is like, ah, die! <laughs> 
It just does it so often. Like, the T-Rex has an awesome roar. Don't get me wrong. But it does it so, so often. It's just obnoxious. Alright, I think I'm gonna go the extra mile and I'm gonna alternate, so... I'm gonna play some stuff. What am I gonna alternate it with? The T-Rex needs a roar nerf. I do think so, yes. There's definitely something in the coding. You know, they meddled with the genetic... Um, the genetic code to make it roar all the time. And it's just too much. It's too much. And opposite of that, the Indominus Rex doesn't roar often enough. The Indominus Rex, same with the Acrocanthosaurus, they sniff instead of doing a roar. Like, they only roar when they are about to do, like, a fight with another dinosaur. Any other time, you know, whenever another dinosaur would roar, the Acro and the Indominus just do a little sniff. That bugs me. I don't like- that bugs me. <laughs> Give us a roar from time to time. Come on now. Oh, excuse me, bunny. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Alright, I think I'm gonna alternate with this, but we're gonna do it differently. I'm gonna- I'm gonna angle them like that, instead of like that. I'm gonna be super special about it. I think that's kind of cute. I think that's kind of different. I think these are just way too small. Yeah, way too small. I might be able to like do them like that. That might be cute, but okay. Lights! Let there be light! So many lights. Oh my god, look at that. Actually, I think that's already too much. <laughs> oh, I hear Fleur in the other room. Oh, whoops. Fleur is stomping. She's like, feed me. Feed me now. Just like Bo, she's a little she's a little impatient. Die! <laughs> I was waiting for them to walk in. Oh my god, I'm a psychopath. Yes, Fleur. Destroy everything. She's not really destroying everything. She's just doing like her little stomp. It's very noisy. She's making herself known. She's like ringing the dinner bell. Or what are, what are those bells that rich people use to like summon their butlers? That's what she's doing right now. She does this in the middle of the night sometimes. It, it, it is... It is not appreciated. <laughs> like, I love her, but it is not appreciated when she does it at, like, 3 a.m. <laughs> the silly goose. Destroy humanity! <laughs> Imagine walking through a new park and suddenly God himself teleports a wall onto an unsuspecting guest. <laughs> Literally a brick wall just materializes right on top of you and sends you into uh, into the Shadow Realm. My god. And that and you paid for that experience. That's that's the that's the harsh part of it. You you paid for the honor. Yeah, come on then, come on then, come on then. Oh shame. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get to kill people. Come on, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> Oh, the other one, they walked in voluntarily. They were like, you know what? I accept my faith. My fate, excuse me. Uh, One more. Aren't we overpopulated anyway? We are. You know what's really funny? Uh, there, there's like this new creator that I really uh, like, so, like I newly discovered, so I'm like watching their backlog of videos and late, 
2019 or something. Um, like, I was watching a video from them, which was from, like, mid to late 2019. They made a joke, like, oh, the Earth is overpopulated. We're due for a new plague. And I was like, oh? <laughs> oh? Because <laughs> literally a few months later. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then we do that. And we're gonna do a bit of a ramp on either side. Brady, you're making a park while watching this. What are you building right now? What's your, what's your theme? What's your concept? I think that's pretty decent. It's maybe a little bit narrow of a way to go down, considering it's the only, only traffic. I should probably, oh god, this is another thing I need to think about, which obviously I didn't consider in my sketch, but like, transport. It's a theme park, okay. But yeah, I need to consider transportation. So I think maybe, since this side is flat now anyway... I don't really like... I think what I might do is... Because um, you, you, you guys know I prefer using the monorail tracks decoratively instead of functionally. So I think what I'll do instead is put in a tour, and that's going to serve as park transport, where tours, this where tours are. It's going to be a little difficult to find places to uh, have it, you know, cross over the path everywhere. I think it's going to be worth it. I just prefer having that as, as transport. And obviously I'm not too set on it having be a five-star park anyway, right? Because, like, when am I ever? <laughs> oh, the brackets just make such pretty sounds. You probably can't even hear it because YouTube uh, and OBS really dim the sound. Dim the sound? I don't think. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. You go ahead and dim the sound, babes. You go ahead and do that. That's fine. <laughs> kind of want to... You have a little bit of a... It's not, it's not perfect, but, you know, whatever. Break it up with a little bit of a garden. I'm not forgetting Zacho, I'm just not going to do that today. And what I'm going to have to do is uh, get rid of the path and replace this building with a hatchery temporarily. But since we only have 15 minutes left, we're not going to be fussing with that today. Not today! Okay, and on this side... Again, symmetry I'm not too bothered with. That upsets so many people, I'm so sorry. Oh god. Yeah, what I think I'm gonna do. Oh, by the way, um, to oh god, tomorrow, tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is gonna be our another one of our Jurassic Talk streams. So yeah, if you want to hang out for that, we're just gonna be talking about the movie and stuff like that. Mostly about you know there there really isn't that much news, TBH. Um. Which is unfortunate. But there are, there are some casting rumors. Um, some developments there that I, I just think are interesting to talk about. And mainly just talk about what we would want from the casting. 
So, yeah, if you like talking about uh, the upcoming movie, we're going to be doing that tomorrow during the stream. Okay, this is not going to work in the slightest, hold on. There you go. And of course, we're gonna chuck a fountain in there. I think we can do the big one. Yeah, we can. The big one. Bam. Beautiful. Amazing. Wonderful. Fantastic. Latex whistle down. They're making another? Yes, have you been living under a rock? <laughs> Yes, uh, there's a there's another Jurassic World movie coming or Jurassic Park. Uh, we don't we don't know yet. They they haven't released a title for it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all of the news. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do the obnoxious YouTuber thing. Okay, I have to. It pays the rent. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I'm a slave to the obnoxious YouTuber thing. <laughs> Here, can I maybe make it... There you go. A little bit wider. That's awesome, Freddy Saunders. That's amazing. I'm happy. Oh, God. Alright. Something like that? I'm gonna have to put something in here so I, I don't start filling it in at some points. Like, this is a garden, Evo. You did this on purpose. Might not look like it. But you did it on purpose, babes. <laughs> Just leave it alone. There. Again, can't really do too much detail to start with, because I might not be able to get in all of the species. <laughs> that still might be an issue, honestly. I'm a little concerned about it, not gonna lie. Okay. But the problem with that is it's gonna feel it's gonna feel so empty and ugly, because this is just oh, it just makes me itch, because I think that once you start adding decorations, it's really gonna come together. But right now, it just feels like it's just wrong, you know? So let's just hope that once we add decorations, that's gonna fix it. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave this one open. Um, so I can still put in that thing. Let's see, did I already do some skin research for a flying reptile? Uh, hold on, I'm reading through my file. Okay, I already did Barbarodactylus. Okay, so we're gonna add Barbarodactylus. There you go. See, we added two species. Wow! Wow. Okay, so for Barbarodactylus, right there. For the male, I had Gambia River Basin with Pilophylax. There, that's the dude. And the lady is Champlain Valley with Pilophylax. Apparently. Champlain Valley with Pilophylax. There you go. Yeah? Yeah, apparently. We we, we chose those stream uh, we chose those skins during a stream farm a while ago. A long time ago, actually. Alright, male. Female. <laughs> she did more than one species. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Kermit the Frog. Oh, I finally get it now. The Ark Park. Noah's Ark. There you go. 
<laughs> yeah. Did I ever explain that? I think I explained it during that skin stream when we were picking the skins for male and female. I don't actually remember if I specifically said it during episode one of the actual build. I just figured it was sort of implicit. <laughs> uh, hold on. Um, they're gonna need food and water. So let me get that in first before they start getting in the way. So we're gonna do the same thing. Which is sort of, you know, connected uh, to the outside world. Is that gonna be big enough to fit in a feeder? Yep. Cool beams. All right. Yay! We have a second species! We melon boy! It's a melon! There. And next one. Okay, so this was the female. What do we do with the female? Okay. Oi! So just like a, a muted coloration. Boop! There you go. Yeah, this one we're gonna have to finagle. Um, Alright, ten minutes left. So, okay, let me let me continue this out a little further. I wanna have like a I don't know if it's gonna be um a habitat. I don't think I have it as a habitat in my sketch. I don't. But I do think there's going to be like a, a big garden in here. Because obviously I, I, I'm not going to want to pave all of that. I'm going to end it here. So I'll just do two, two links. Because, uh, again, I want to transition to a different path color over here, so I don't use this path color constantly. You know, even though it's clearly the superior path color. Uh, maybe I'll extend this out further. See if we can get some, some decorative water in there. It's gonna be difficult. That looks pretty decent. Obviously we could tell from the suggested lines that it's not actually perfect, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe a bit of a pond down here. I think that might be nice. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe a little bit, a little bit of an island like that. Uh, and I would also have some shops. Yeah. Alright, I think I have an idea. I have, I have a weird song stuck in my head. <laughs> really old song. <laughs> song by Phil Collins, of all people. I probably heard it at the grocery store or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to sneak the tour through here. Because I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to plan ahead and find places for it to cross over. <laughs> Eva, is the customization going? Ah! <laughs> I will. I I I will. I I will. I 
hate it so much. <laughs> I will. An effort shall be made. Oh god. I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see. Okay, so what I had in mind. Will you though? Hmm? Okay, so this 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 tour's gonna go all over the place, but for now I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's gonna work. Oh it does work! Oh yay! Brilliant. Okay, that's great. Oh, I really didn't think that was gonna work. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not gonna lie, I do have to move the buildings just a sh just a slightest, slightest bit to get them a little bit more even. Get a little bit more space on that side. Wait, what just happened here? What just, what did you do? Okay. That's a little weird, not gonna lie. Seriously, what, what just happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, see, he did it again! I don't want you to do that though. Because I want to I want to stuff some foliage in there. Anyway. Okay. And you know what I think it might be cute if we I was going to I was going to enclose it entirely. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, we are nearing the end of the stream and we have so many dinosaurs to name, so I think we should uh, I think we should start getting on that. Let me just let me just do this real quick. Yeah, and then you know those holes are gonna get covered up with stuff, okay. That's pretty decent. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's start with naming the Brachiosaurus. So we're gonna do the boy first, or sleepy, sleepy boy. Name the Bracky Dan Danny DeVito. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what should we name the female? Oh, we were gonna go with uh, duos, weren't we? Sorry, we're gonna have to redo that. We were gonna go with duos. So if you're gonna give a name suggestion, I totally forgot about this, it's my fault. If you're gonna give a name suggestion, give two names and they should, they should fit with each other in some way. Like maybe a famous duo, maybe an alliteration, maybe it rhymes. Um... I don't know, just something that makes sense together. There you go, Salamnavon, Bonnie and Clyde, I like that. So that will be Clyde. And here we have Bonnie. And for the Barbarodactylus. There you go, this is the female. I need to give them a perch, this is kind of sad. I mean, I guess they can sit on the uh, aviary, so... Oh, so many. <laughs> a lot of people are saying melon, and that, that does make sense for, like, the male. Because he, he, he do be looking like a melon. What, what should go with melon? Whoa, Jesus Christ. 
Logan Smith says melon and grape. Oh god, what did I just do? Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. We have melon and grape. There you go. I'm gonna give them... I'm gonna give them a perch. This just feels a little sad. Melon and lemon would have been good as well. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna have to change it. That's way too good. Melon and lemon. That's way too good not to do. Sorry, grape. You will be a lemon. <laughs> Different kind of fruit. There you go. Melon and lemon. Melon, 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 lemon. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe I spent an hour just fiddling about with this sort of stuff. This park build is going to be a thing, y'all. It's going to be a thing. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and uh, joining me for this. Um, I do apologize if slow builds like this aren't your thing. But I think it's going to I think it's gonna benefit the park build in the end. Which is what I want to prioritize for this specific build. And again, if you like a little bit more fast-paced building. Then I would suggest just the edited park building series on the channel currently. Which is Mini Sorna. Alright, we're going to wrap it up for this stream. Again, I'll be back tomorrow for our Jurassic Talk uh, live stream. Which again, might not be your thing. And if it isn't, then I hope to see you next week. But we're just going to be chatting about the movie, what we want for it, uh, the, the latest rumors and all of that stuff. And uh, of course, more videos coming during the week. I want to thank my moderators first and foremost, the Blue Name Crew, sarcastically, Sammy L, Glitzbog, Neron, Guillermo, Flitcher was here. Um, I'm probably missing someone. Uh, I can't think of it right now. But as always, hugely, hugely appreciate it. And um, I also want to thank my green name army in the chat. Love Game Selfie, Wraith Garon, Sacho was here, Rob Earth, hey, uh, Jurassic Domain, Terraria, James Miller, Solana Navon, of course, Mullen Natalia, uh, Dark Azam Edit, Kermit the Frog, Evolutionary Dino. Uh, Thijs Berensen, Magnetator, Harry Glazer. I hugely, hugely, hugely appreciate you guys being members. And um, yeah, it just means a whole lot to me that everyone here uh, spent uh, a little bit of their time to hang out with me. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it. And I hope I provide some sort of entertainment value in return. I'm going to say goodbye to you lovely folks. And I hope I'll see you for the next one. All right, here we go. Stego Rex. We have Epic Doxy, Phoenix, Catherine Unsworth. Pillow Sleeper, Logan Smith, um, Rob Earth again, <laughs> Watermelon Sugar, <laughs> uh, Argyle Fan, we have SCP Bob, Gaming Flow, Jan Polarski, Rexy's Gaming Bro, um, D-Rex in 1985, Adrian Marrero, Mexican Avengers 2, Harry Glaser, of course, Dan Dino Explosion, excuse me, <laughs> Pitta the Italian, Micro Gaming, Quick Indoraptor, oh god, chat jumped, let me find the place. Shadow Rift, JTTV, Proximus Cat, Werzo Games. We have Kresik or Kwichik? Kwichik, maybe? Uh, sorry, again, pronunciation, not my strong suit. <laughs> uh, Dino Mask, Dino Boy VR, Evolutionary Dino, uh, Gaming Goji. M might, sh maybe should have been Gaming Goji, I don't know. Uh, Legacy Christie 1993, thank you so much for being here. As always, I appreciate it so, so much. T Rex Man, White Petrosius? That sounds fancy. Uh, Jesse, we have King of Cats. Let's see. The Chick House, of course. Thank you so much. You were so generous. Um, Amy Murphy, goodbye. My non... My no-no square? My, my non-no square? <laughs> I don't know. Tricell Gamer. We have um, Nathan Goodwin. Archie Edwards says goodbye. I think I've had most folks at this point. But to everyone... Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game. <laughs>